From Instagram posts to celebrity jewelry lines, lab-grown diamonds seem to be popping up everywhere. But what are they, and how are they different from natural diamonds? Joining us now is Grant Mobley, a gemologist, diamond expert, and trade lead for the Diamond Producers Association with some key factors to consider when shopping for a diamond. Grant, great to have you here. Thanks so much for having me. So let's talk about the difference. Let's set the record straight. A mined diamond or a lab-grown diamond? Sure. So the big difference in a natural diamond and a lab-grown diamond is a, a lab-grown diamond, what it really is, it is, a, it is a manufactured product. It's a manufactured product that is trying to mimic the look and the composition of a natural diamond. And I have read that it's made up of the exact same thing as so, a diamond that you'd get out of the ground. So they are made up of carbon, uh, but the biggest difference in a lab-grown diamond and a natural diamond is that a natural diamond is a billion years old. Um, that's at, a, at True. A, almost a minimum. <laughs> it's a billion year old. It's a miracle of nature. Uh, and they're found 100 miles plus below the Earth's surface, which is very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, and so obviously the origin of a lab-grown diamond is totally different. They're made in factories, mostly overseas, and they can be made in a matter of a couple of weeks. So that's the, the big difference. So they can be made up of the same thing, but uh, they're, they're very, very different and detectable. Uh, well, I was thinking, to the untrained eye, could anybody tell? No, it's, it's very difficult to tell, for sure, uh, without the proper equipment. There's no question. Okay, speaking of proper equipment, mm -hmm. what is this little box you've got this here? Is, this is a detector, which uh -huh. I, can, I can certainly use to show you okay, uh, well, yeah, the difference. We've got this little baggie here, and you've got tiny little diamonds yeah, in so there. Yeah, are, so these are just what I brought for here. These are small diamonds. Mm -hmm. This is a mixture of natural diamonds and the uh, lab-grown diamonds. Okay. Um, and so I brought that with the intention of actually showing you how easy it is, really, to detect. So okay. we can actually just put these Easy right. for somebody like you to detect. Well, or any retail store, okay. any, any jeweler as well. And so you can just put that in there, mm -hmm. and then we press this button here. And it's going to be reading these diamonds? It is. It is testing. So I don't know if you how well you can see it in the camera, but we have the red circles here. Mm -hmm. So those red are actually the lab-grown diamonds, the ones that are not natural. Okay. Um, and then all of the other, the blue, those are all natural diamonds. Uh -huh. So it's very, for lack of a better term, black and white. It's, right. it's very easy to tell and quick to tell the difference. So, uh, and retail jewelers have these in their stores, so it's, it's very easy for them as well. Why do you think people should opt to go for a natural versus a lab-grown diamond? Well, it's not necessarily that they should opt for one or the other. It's just that uh, they're very different products. Right. Um, and the, I think that the problem is that a lot of the people that are selling laboratory-grown diamonds can kind of blur the lines between what is natural and what is lab-grown. Why uh, does one show up red and, and the other not? What is the difference in the, in the composition? So again, so contrary to what some people might tell you, they aren't exactly the same. Uh, there's no way to replicate the growth conditions of a natural diamond. So uh, this machine actually analyzes those growth patterns, and then it, that's how it can tell you the difference between one and the other. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are some important considerations now for people who are going to buy a diamond or they want to upgrade to a better diamond? Sure. It's, it's not just the four C's any longer, right? That's true. Uh, you know, the four C's is, is not, you know, because of lab-grown diamonds, the four C's is not really all you need to know. Right, and, and just to recap what the four C's are. Color, Color, clarity, cut, and carrot. Okay. Yep. And so that's obviously very common knowledge. But really, because some of these lab-grown um, sellers are kind of blurring those lines between what is natural and what is lab-grown, the consumer needs to know to ask the question. Mm -hmm. They need to know, is this natural? They need to ask, is this natural or is this lab-grown? Um, but also something that a consumer needs to know is that lab-grown diamonds are not an eco-friendly alternative. So this is also a, a common misconception. And why not? Um, exactly. There's, there are, there's a lot of research now that shows us that the uh, environmental impact of lab-grown diamonds is actually much higher than natural diamonds. And that is because essentially in order to make a lab-grown diamond, what you're trying to do is replicate the process deep within the earth mm -hmm. that happened over a p period of many millions of years. And you're trying to do that in a two-week period of time, so it creates an, an, an unbelievable amount of energy. So that's really why uh, the carbon footprint of lab-grown diamonds is so large in comparison with natural diamonds. The, the recovery of natural diamonds only requires water, which is 86% is recycled, and mm -hmm. it also is pressure, so it doesn't require a ton of electricity to do so. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, Grant Mobley, thank you very much for joining us today. We've, of course. we've learned a lot.
I'm glad to you do it. Thank you. You definitely set the record straight for us. Daytime, we'll be right back.